Hey, this is Christopher with another episode of What's Brewing. And today we're talking about on running shoes, specifically the waterproof versions. Let's roll that beautiful B-roll. Hey, this is Christopher, a team member at Rooted with another episode of What's Brewing, and today we're talking about On Running. I've been using On Running since 2017 after I experienced my first bout with health issues. I ended up in ICU because of diabetes and because I had evidently broken a, a toe. Uh, if I did any kind of prolonged walking without any fairly comfortable shoes, I, I really couldn't exercise. I reached out internally at HCS, uh, a group of friends that I work with, and Sam Valencia recommended on running shoes. Now since then, I've had probably two dozen pairs, but this is my first pair of the Cloud Flyer. Now this, this video is not sponsored by Backpacker, but when I do buy locally, I buy at Backpacker in Lafayette, Louisiana. I'll put a link to their social media and their website in the description below. So let's take a look here. These are our brand new so we're gonna open this up here kind of peel back the wrapper and let's take a look at these right here there they are the cloud flyer I love these shoes now these are meant to be um, a shoe that has more of a, a wider bottom here again the same cloud tech that goes into all of their other shoes is also found here. So if you're not familiar with On, uh, let me give you the brief story here. The On story was born in the Swiss Alps with one goal, to revolutionize the sensation of running, or in my case, walking. It's all based on one radical idea, um, that soft landings with explosive takeoffs. And of course, it should feel like you're running on the cloud. Now, in their case, they were founded in 2010, and um, now that they've really gotten some traction and some momentum in the industry, they're in over 50 countries and they have 7 million runners uh, who are wearing their shoes. And so I'm a huge fan of On. Um, I, couldn't, I couldn't really uh, say enough good things about them. Now, I want to talk specifically about the Cloud Flyer. Now, this is the waterproof edition. Um, this is in the sea and glacier color. I think that's such a fun name, but they also have it in black and lunar. They have both men's and women's models here, and they have their site where you can get a 3D sort of look at the shoe, and they've even got a Fit Finder uh, guide to help you figure out if these shoes are gonna fit well with you. So what makes this waterproof? Well, they've got a special membrane and the waterproof shoes also have a special toe here. You'll notice that m many of them have a little bit thicker substance here uh, than other models. Uh, you'll see a lot of the design elements that you see in a lot of the shoes just sort of mixed in in different ways on each shoe, but it's, you know, you can tell it's an on shoe um, by the Helion and the Cloud Tech, sort of the design language that they're using here with their shoes. So. Overall, I, I think that these are a great investment. I live in South Louisiana, and so you'll find that it's very humid here. Um, during this time of year, it, it rains a lot. It's been raining for, gosh, the last couple weeks here. So this isn't the first pair that I've had. I've, reg I've had regular on shoes that were waterproof. But one thing I'll say that I've noticed with the waterproof editions versus a traditional edition um, is the fact that they're a little stiffer. Um, I believe that's because of the membrane and whatever coating they're using to keep that moisture out and air out um, makes it a little less uh, flexible, right? It's a little tougher to do this than with a traditional pair of ons, right, to be able to get that. So they're, they are a little stiffer. Do I think that is a, a, a deal breaker? No. I find them to be uh, very, very versatile, very comfortable, and at the end of the day, for a walker like myself, but potentially a runner as well, uh, you may not notice the difference. Now, just to compare here to a traditional uh, on shoe, right? So this is a traditional tread here, kind of next to each other. They again look very similar, but you'll notice that if you get close in there, um, thinner profile here, much thinner, you know, track in the middle. This has got a much broader. You can even see it right here. Right? That's one of the big differentiators between this shoe and a traditional on shoe. And, and just to call it, this is the review on the shoe that I did. This is really just a modified 
on. Now, like I said, this one bends very easily. I mean, partly because it's worn in for a few months, but also it doesn't have that membrane. This is a lot more breathable, right? So this material here, whereas this is meant to be more resistant. What I find with On is that they take elements from different shoes as they iterate these revisions and these versions, and they begin to put them in different shoes in different functions and forms. And I, to me, that's one of the things I love about On is that things that you loved about one shoe end up making it into another version of a shoe um, you know later on down the line and one of the things you'll see in the new versions of clouds is the new laces that they're starting to ship with right um, new lacing pattern new lacing style um, this again I could be wrong here was introduced in the cloud stratus here where you've got these little ropes if you get in there close enough here that are sort of holding this in place I think that's it's actually being held here within sort of the rim of the toe here um, and that's again allowing it when you tighten it up instead of tightening just across you're really bringing in the shoe to bring it bring it all together so that when you tighten here everything really feels like it's it's getting formed to your foot so these are gonna be my shoes of choice for this fall um, I always rotate them out I usually have a couple pairs um, these will be my pair for the winter I'm pretty excited about that I wore Cloud Swift last winter that went through um, to guess around February, March or so before I replace them. Um, and uh, I'm looking forward to using these. Again, with the, the, the special membrane to keep out wind and, and just moisture, um, I think these are gonna be a great choice. I think they're gonna perform well. So that's my overview and semi-review of the Cloud Flyer. Uh, again, I'll let you know more um, through various videos and posts about how I'm experiencing it. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at, at Jose Mocha. I take lots of pictures on my walks and I'll definitely put some comments and thoughts once I've worn these out a little bit more and really put them to good use. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps our channel immensely. We hope that you're doing well. We hope that you're staying safe. Keep being healthy, keep staying active, and we'll see you out there in the next one.